Juan Paolo here, so I'm back. And I know I haven't been active on this channel for some time. I just got busy at work and stuff, so now I'm back and I'm aiming to add more content on this channel and giving back to what I love most and that is sharing the stuff that I have learned. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Salesforce single sign-on with Google as the authentication provider. So let's get started. First, uh, you need your Salesforce account, of course. So log into your Salesforce account. So first is enable my domain in your org, deploy it to your users, and then create an authentication provider inside Salesforce. So let me plug this. And once you're signed in, uh, search for my domain. So basically, my domain brands your uh, Salesforce instance to your by creating a subdomain inside the Salesforce domain. So identity access. You check for availability and register domain. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. So let you know once that is active. Okay. So while waiting for the email confirmation, let's jump. Let's jump into. Uh, Google, so go to cloud.google.com and sign in with your Google Cloud account. So if I sign in, let me just fill the more. Yep, and click on the console. This should open up your dashboard. So don't mind this, these are all from my existing uh, project. So click on the hamburger icon at the top left and click on credentials. And from here, click on create credentials and select OAuth client ID. And select web application. I'm gonna call this um, Dang Channel. I won't provide the authorized redirect URL because I don't have it yet. So I'm going to click on create. And it's going to expose me the client ID and the client secret, which I'll copy and store later when I configure the OAuth uh, on my Salesforce. So I just got an email that my Salesforce domain is ready. This should refresh. Let me just refresh manually. So I need to log in now and that would redirect me to this URL. So if you see I'm on the instance AP4, but once I click on login here, it's gonna log me into the new uh, my domain instance to the phone. So as you can tell this is all brand new. So let me close that first tab and now I'm on the identity access my custom domain. So I'm gonna click on deploy to all users. That should be it. So let's now jump into configuring the OAuth. So on the search bar, click search for auth provider under security controls. Click on that and click on new. And provider type, as you can see, you have already several pre-selected options here. So let's click on Google. Let's see what's in there. Yep, um, I'm gonna call just call this Google. So this is what appears on the page. So if I uh, URL suffix is fine. And for the consumer key and consumer secret, jump back to your console on Google Cloud and I'll paste that. And same for the consumer key. I mean consumer secret, paste that. And these are already pre-populated for you, which is fine. Cool. So this is what you would like to access on the uh, on the Google side. So first, it's open ID scope, and then you'll get the email information, and you could also specify profile. And we won't have custom URL. Uh, Logout will for now create a registration handler, which would create an Apex class for us. And we want you could choose some icons here as well. Let's quickly do that. Let's search for Google. 
copy that again, paste that there, and click on save. And you can see that it created all this Salesforce configuration. So among this is the callback URL. So this is where you tell Google to pass back the information once it's authenticated. So if I jump back here, click OK, and go back to my credential screen and click on that one and click on edit here. This is time you post the authorized redirect URL as this guy. And click on save. Cool, that's it. So let's test it out. So if I get this test only initiation URL and open a incognito window and paste that, this should redirect me to Google. So let me sign on with my account again. And my two factor again. And you'll get this information being passed back. So you got the full name, provider, org ID, etc. So all this from the scope that we identified earlier. So if you get this, this means everything's good. So if I go back to my domain, oh wait, I still need to configure the auth authentication registration handler. So let me click on that and click on edit here. So it auto generated this Apex class for us and we need to customize it to our needs. So I don't need this can create user option for now. I'm going to rename the class, say Google SSO auth. And it implements the auth registration handler. It create, create a user, pass, uh, specify the portal ID, user data, and this guy. And I don't need this information for now. This are all just for demo, so we don't need this. So it's gonna query for a profile where standard user is this guy. And somehow there's a problem with the username being returned. Some uh, It's returning us null. So what I have done is I have instead um, grab the email address and make sure that and replace this data username so if I do this replace that so I'm getting the substring of the email and replacing that and I'm doing it the same here for the alias on this line and that should be it so when I try to log in, it's going to create a user, it's going to grab the email address and grab the username from there and populate this for me. And I'll just click on save. Let's print that if on line 21. So if we got to terminate that guy, I click on save. That's it. So if I go back to my domain, and click edit here so from here you could customize the header logo on the salesforce login page you could customize color you could uh, select an image for the right uh, right frame and authentication service uh, this is the auth provider we just specified so it's now google if i save that and if i log out from this org You can see that I now have an option on my login screen for Google. So if I click on that, it's going to go to Google, do the authentication. And this is already creating the user for me. So I said I don't want to register my phone. And that should be it. Now I'm logged in to Salesforce using my uh, Google account. You didn't see me log into Google because I'm already logged in because I was using this tab, but I'm already logged in. So this is a totally new user. So if I go here and click on settings, you can see that you grab the uh, my name, first name from the uh, information sent by Google and grab my email. And this is the new username created for me and all those stuffs. 
and basically that's it so hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel signing out